The latest of the AMD Ryzen 30 series boasts performance benefits in AI, and our latest lineups of both pedestal and rack mount workstations provide everything to maximise these capabilities. Having up to 96 high performance cores in a single chip, combined with up to 2 terabytes of high speed 8 channel memory, makes for an obscenely fast chip in most calculation and CPU based rendering scenarios, and with so many cores it can even do some AI tasks fairly handily. The benefits of having upwards of 1TB of RAM available to the CPU can allow you to run some very large models without needing to spend additional money on GPUs to get even close to that amount of VRAM. But if you're looking to run the largest and most powerful models locally, GPUs are the way to go, and another place the new Threadripper 9000 series shines is its improved I.O. They now offer a minimum of 80 PCIe 5.0 lanes on the non-pro models, allowing even the most basic chips to utilise quad pro GPU setups with vast amounts of VRAM. This is best displayed in this, the Gigabyte TRX50 AI Top motherboard. It boasts 8 DIMM slots to fully support both the Threadripper quad channel and the Threadripper Pro 8 channel memory configurations, though unfortunately this does not enable 2 DIMMs per channel on the non-pro lines, in fact the board will simply ignore 4 of the slots. It has 4 PCIe Gen 5 M.2 drive bays hidden away beneath this very handy and easy to use heatsink cover. Most importantly for AI, it has 4 fully fledged PCIe Gen 5 X16 slots, the bottom slot and the M.2 slots are Gen 4 on the non-Pro Threadripper 7000, and you lose out on one M.2 with either non-Pro SKU, but on the Pro 7000WX and both ranges of 9000 chips, you get full PCIe Gen 5 across the board. The PCIe slots are spaced two slots apart to provide optimal spacing for up to four dual slot GPUs, making it a solid choice for any multi-GPU setup and basically perfect for putting together your desired high-end AI-capable spec. It also comes with plenty of other high-end features expected of a workstation board, including built-in dual 10 gigabit Ethernet ports, Wi-Fi 7, two USB 4 ports, and six USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports for peripheral attachment, so we'll tackle practically any professional workloads with ease. We also have the Asus Pro WS TRX50 Sage Wi-Fi A, which retains many of the same features, aside from being made more specifically with the non-pro Threadrippers with only four memory slots. Though like any TRX50 motherboard, it also supports the Pro chips if you need them. It has the same style of easily detachable M.2 cover, and also includes some additional SlimSAS ports for NVMe drive support, at the cost of the bottom PCI slot only being PCIe Gen 4, which may have a marginal impact on performance for that final card. We support both the AMD Radeon AI Pro R9700 based on the same chip as the recently released Radeon RX 9700 XT with double the RAM of its gaming brother and the Nvidia RTX Pro Blackwell 6000 Max-Q based on the same GB202 chip the RTX 5090 uses but with the full 188 streaming multiprocessors enabled giving it 24064 shaders triple the memory, and 752 tensor cores, which is 10% more than the 5090. The AMD card comes out at a little under half the maximum tops compared to the Nvidia, with 4-bit precision and structured sparsity. Obviously this puts these two cards in their own price and performance classes, but you can fill a machine with four of these AMD cards for less than the price of a single one of these which means you can get incredibly solid performance with four of the AMD GPUs with 128GB of total VRAM. Though if you're aiming to run one of the latest LLM models that can exceed several hundred gigabytes in size, you would need multiple Blackwell 6000 GPUs just for the increased total VRAM. Both of these motherboards and these GPUs are available for use with our 4U rack mount R80 chassis, which with an additional rear cooling unit can support four of either of these blower cooled cards, and they're also compatible with our 2U Threadripper R40 chassis, providing a dense powerhouse of high-end CPU and GPU. Or with a larger rack mount chassis using risers, we can even utilise quad RTX 5090 GPUs in a rack mount system like this one. We had a short amount of time with these cards, and unfortunately we couldn't get any examples of them running together on a large LLM in time, but we did get a couple of quick single GPU benchmarks through MLPerf and Geekbench, just to have a little look at what these two cards are capable of. 
Both of these benchmarks only run the GPUs individually, but you can get a good sense of the incredible and very consistent performance these cards get. The Nvidia cards gain a lot of benefit in their time to first token metric, though the AMD cards hold up well with around half the total tokens per second and four times the longer warm-up time, given their far lower price point. Again, four of these AMD cards can be had for less than the cost of one of these 6000 Blackwells, which might make it a much more attractive option for a local system that won't break the bank. Being able to combine several of these together would also provide excellent compatibility for some of the largest LLM models available for local running. Four AMD cards would provide 128 gigs of GDDR7 memory, 16,000 stream processors and 512 AI accelerators. Given the benchmark above, this could easily surpass a single RTX 6000 Blackwell card in general use for any AMD optimised model. On the other hand, four of the Blackwell cards, with a total of 384 gigs of GDDR7 memory, over 98,000 shader units and 3,008 tensor cores, would make an incredibly strong option for local training and use of high parameter models with hundreds of billions of parameters. With their high core counts, fast clock speeds, and our all-in-one liquid cooling as standard on all of our premium machines, the Threadripper platform is a beast across an entire range of professional workloads. And with the right GPU options, they can double as an incredibly powerful AI system. Thank you for watching. This has just been a small sampling of our systems using the new AMD Ryzen Threadripper 9000 platform and its benefits to AI workloads. We are working on a few more videos related to the Threadripper 9000, so I hope you come back and see us again in a later video. See you next time.